good piece of quiet but I swim every day in the sea and as we sail to the island the gulls fly high the waves whirl it's a magical feeling we're going to see Granny Pearl see Granny Pearl hello Granny Pearl should be back soon She's been taking part in the deep sea diving competition. You know she can swim so far out to sea and so deep that she's met giant magical sea creatures. She said she's even friendly with a giant squid. Hardly anybody has seen a giant squid. They're so shy and they live in the deepest parts of the ocean with eyes as big as dinner plates and huge long tentacles. And this one, or so my granny Pearl says, has a shipwreck for a hat but not to worry because he's very friendly. I'm drawing a giant squid and a huge long tentacle comes out here. And another one on this side too. There are lots of tales about giant squid attacking whales and ships out at sea. But no one really knows if those tales are really true. Now I'm going to draw its eight arms. One, two, three, four, eight. I'm going to draw some of its suckers on the arms. It uses the suckers to grasp onto its prey. And here, at the side of the head, there's a, a spout-like funnel which it puts water through so it can speed along. It pushes water through really fast so it can swim fast through the water. And its two big eyes help it see through the darkness of the water. Like a rocket, an under the water rocket. giant squid. <gasps> Granny Pearl's here! Oh, and she's wearing something shiny around her neck. Hello Granny Pearl. Hello, 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 hello. Did you win something in the diving competition? I did, I've still got it. I came first in the Mer People's dive. I had to collect this very shiny pearl and oyster shell medal. <laughs> The deepest dive in the whole competition was by a beautiful Cuvier's whale. He'd already been swimming down there for an hour before us lot even turned up. And Louis the giant squid was taking part. It was so good to see him after such a long time. And he's still very fond of that umbrella of his. <laughs> A giant squid, I'm a very happy fella since the day I found me lucky umbrella. It begins with um and ends in Ella. It's me lucky, 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 lucky umbrella. <laughs> so how did you find your lucky umbrella? I hear you ask in adoration and astonishment. Well, I'll tell you. One day I was swimming in the deep blue sea, wondering at what I should have for tea, when suddenly I spy with me giant squid eye, a jolly little brolly, oh, a diddly dumpty die. But what was it doing there? I hear you cry in bewilderments and bafflements. Well, 
I'll tell you. I saw it on a wreck with a very bony fella. It didn't seem to him to be a lucky umbrella. He'd had a little fall, and with my tentacle, I took the brolly and an arm he didn't mind at all. I'm the giant squid, I'm a very happy fella Since the day I found me lucky umbrella It begins with um and ends in Ella It's me lucky, 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 lucky umbrella So how is it lucky? I hear you ask in eagerness and excitement Well, since I have come into the possession of this umbrella I have never been rained on, never set fire to myself or drowned. I have swum with dolphins, done a TED talk, and met you. I'm the giant squid. I'm a very happy fella since the day I found me lucky umbrella. It begins with um and ends in Ella. It's me lucky, 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 lucky umbrella. Unlike Louis the Giant Squid, who sounds completely full of the joys of spring, finding someone else's rubbish, I woke up to this. A pile of rubbish someone left right outside my house. Oh no, that really is rubbish. Well I know, I just said that. Let me help you. Well you shouldn't have to. I thought things were getting better around here. There isn't even an accidentally thrown away winning lottery ticket. Typical. Hmm. Let me clear it for you, Emerys. I've just thought of something. You're on your way to Crafty Cove, though, aren't you? Yes, but all of this junk here... I mean, it's no good littering the coast, but it's given me an idea for something I could make today down at Crafty Cove. Tidy it. I'm going to take one of these cups. Now, this is a really good shape to make the mantle of the giant squid, which is the top of the giant squid. I'm going to squash the cup, but keep this bit nice and open. And then I'm just going to open it out again, because I want to very carefully poke a hole in the top of the cup like that. And then that's the top of the giant squid like that. And another cup, I'm going to put this cup inside the mantle of the giant squid because this bit here is perfect for the head of the giant squid. So I'm going to take my scissors and very carefully cut into there and then go all the way around. I'm going to fold this card in half like this. Turn it round that way. Now I'm drawing all the way around the cup and then cutting out that shape. Before I attach these two bits together, I'm going to make a hole in the bottom of this cup in the middle. Let this be gentle so I don't want it to be too big. Before I put this into the other cup, I'm just going to squash this down a little bit. I've got some bubble wrap here, which is perfect. I'm going to put that just inside the mantle of the squid. And then I'm going to poke a paper fastener through to make a hole. Then on the head of the giant squid, I'm making another hole. Then I can attach the head inside the mantle. And I've got a really nice mechanism there. to stick that down. I'm going to put that bit down here and then it's a bit like a Cornish pasty. Push down to where the sides of the cup are. I'm going to draw my fins here and here. I'm just going to 
cut into there like that and also cut there as well. I'm going to take the bendy end of my straw and I'm going to poke it through the hole I've made in the top of this cup and then bend it down like this so you've got a, a handle. I've got a strip of card I'm gluing the back of it and then wrapping it round the squid's head, poking it inside the mantle and then tucking it in so it fits the head really well. And now I'm just securing it with sticky tape. And now it's time to make the arms of your giant squid. Now your giant squid has got eight long arms and two even longer tentacles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, with your scissors. So now we have our eight arms and we're going to stick our suckers on. Attach the arms to the end of the straw and then wrap them around themselves. Secure them with sticky tape and then you push the arms into the head of the squid and now I'm going to add two long tentacles on either side of the squid's head. And now the last thing to add ooh, is his eyes. I'm going to make my squid's eyes out of yellow card. Now I'm going to draw the pupil of the eye. It's really nice and big. And I'm going to put a shiny white spot in his eye. Oh, a lovely pair of eyes. And squid's eyes are so big because they live right at the bottom of the ocean, in the deepest parts of the ocean. And there's not much light down there. So they need to, to have big eyes so they can pick up as much light as possible. And there we are. A beautiful giant squid. Ooh. Has anybody seen my umbrella? as big as dinner plates. Ha, they are dinner plates. Amazing what you can do when you recycle your old rubbish. We'd love to see your arty creations. Send your photos to us and we'll display them in Granny Pearl's gallery. How are you feeling after all your swimming and diving today, Granny Pearl? Pretty tired, but very happy. The ocean is a truly wondrous and magical place. What an honour to share it with so many amazing creatures. Hi, thank you. The sun's on its way down and I need to head home. I hope we see you again soon. Bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, Granny Pearl. See you another day. Write to me. Send me pictures. I'd love to hear from you all. Bye for now.
ายแทงเขียวหายแทงเงาโอ้ใช่ดิหายแทงเงาหายแทงเงาหายแทงเงาหายแทงเขียวอะไรเตะบัด Perfect. Laser focus, me mind. Initiative. Here we go. Expert. <laughs>